Hello, welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today we are going to be reading from one of my favorite books. We've read out of this book before, but I love it because it's full of useless information. Interesting, strange, odd facts. And I feel like it's been a while. If you hear that, that's Ava. She's shuffling around in her little puppy chair. Um, yeah, I feel like it's been a while since we've read out of the book. So today, that's what we're going to do. Let's see, where are we? Histories, mysteries. A Virginia law requires all bathtubs to be kept out in the yard, not inside the house. That is a mystery. Why is that? Who came up with this law? <laughs> I love this book, but it's like, I have questions, as usual. And it's like, I want more details. Like, when did this law come into effect? Why have they not gotten rid of the law? And why are bathtubs only allowed to be outside and not inside? I got questions, you know? Okay. Celebrating Christmas was once illegal in England. What? I would be breaking the law hard. Dueling is legal in Paraguay? It, as long as both parties are registered blood donors. See what I mean? Questions. Does anybody still duel there? That's just crazy to me. Okay. In a tradition dating back to the beginning of the Westminster, Westminster system of government, a bench in the middle of Westminster Parliament is two and a half sw sword lengths long. This was so the government and the op opposition couldn't have a go at each other if all got a bit heated. What? <laughs> Crazy. In Alaska, it is illegal to shoot a moose from the window of an airplane or another flying vehicle. So does that make it legal to shoot a moose otherwise? I feel like a moose is like a protected animal. That's so strange. Okay. In Athens, Greece, a driver's license can be taken away by law if the driver is deemed either unbathed or poorly dressed. So you can't be looking trashy. <laughs> you better be looking proper. And you better not stink or you will no longer be able to drive. What? <laughs> In Baltimore, it is illegal to wash or scrub a sink, regardless of how dirty it is. These are history mysteries. Like, what? <laughs> Crazy. In Hartford, Connecticut, it is illegal for a husband to kiss his wife on Sundays. I kind of wanted to go to Hartford, Connecticut, just so I could kiss my husband and be like, <laughs> I'm such a rebel. <laughs> what? In Helsinki, Finland, instead of giving parking tickets, the police usually deflate tires. Nice. I would much rather a deflated tire than a parking ticket. 
I've never gotten a parking ticket in my life, but I'm sure it's quite a bit of money. And if the air is let out of your tire, you just gotta fill it up. No biggie. And, oh gosh. In Jasmine, Saskatchewan, it is illegal for a cow to moo within 300 kilometers. Kilo- kilometers, sorry, of a private home. So even cows can break the law. I wonder if they are aware that they can break the law. I highly doubt that. (laughs) These are so mysterious. Why? Why do these laws exist? Oh, there's one about Texas. In Texas, it is illegal to put graffiti on someone else's cow. Questions. Okay, first of all, I thought it's illegal to do graffiti anywhere. Um, <laughs> but this is saying that it's okay to put graffiti on your cow, but you can't put graffiti on somebody else's. What? Okay, these things are laws because at one point this happened and somebody threw a fit and made a big deal about it. So much of a big deal that they were like, you know what? We need to make a law. What? (laughs) Okay. It is against the law to stare at the mayor of Paris. How dare you? <laughs> okay. In Sweden, it is illegal to train a seal to balance a ball on its nose. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess for like animal protection or something, but That's just strange. (laughs) In California, it is illegal to eat oranges while bathing. What? (laughs) What? (laughs) Like, who comes up with these laws? Why? In Bladworth, Sass can choose... Saskatchewan. It is illegal f- to frown at cows. There was another thing about a cow in the same place. So you can't. Oh, the cow is not allowed to moo 300 kilometers near you. But it is also illegal to frown at a cow. So if a cow moves anywhere near you and that upsets you and you frown, you both go into jail. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. In Arizona, it is illegal to hunt camels. Questions. Are there camels in Arizona? I was unaware of this. But I feel as though that it's illegal to hunt any camels. Do people hunt camels? In Malaysia, it is illegal for restaurants to substitute toilet paper as table napkins. Repeat offenders go to jail. So at one point, in Malaysia, at a restaurant, oh no, they ran out of napkins, and someone said, I know, I'll just go to the bathroom and get some toilet paper and put it on the tables. 
they did this so often that people were like, this ain't right, this has got to be illegal. Okay, we'll make it illegal. And then restaurants continued to do it because it said repeat offenders go to jail. So the first time you do it, you'll probably get a fine. If you do it more than that, you're going to jail. How about just to order the right amount of napkins? <laughs> what? It used to be law in France that children's names had to be taken from an official government list that would not fly in today's world where, you know, people's names are River and Paisley and just all kinds of, I mean, people just make up all kinds of names like paper and I'll call this person a phone or, you know what I mean? Like, to me, I feel like people now are just like, I don't know what to name my kid. I want to give them a unique name and they're just looking around the room and they're like, Box. And their kid's name is Box. You know what I mean? Like, that wouldn't be okay. Apparently, you know, in France, whenever that law was in existence. In Iceland, it was once against the law to have a pet dog in a city. Now it was once against the law. Now it's no longer. People are allowed to have pet dogs in the city. In one city in Switzerland, it was once against the law to slam your car door. But now you can just slam all you want, I guess. Mailing an entire building has... Wait, what? Mailing an entire building has been illegal in the United States since 1916 when a man mailed a 40,000 brick house across Utah to avoid high freight rates. What? How do you mail a building? How do you mail part of a building? I got questions. <laughs> Pennsylvania was the first colony to legalize witchcraft. When? When did this happen? I don't know. Okay. A monkey was once tried and convicted for smoking a cigarette in South Bend, Indiana. Why? Why? What? According to the United States Refuse Act of 1899, every industrial discharge into bodies of water since 1899 has been a crime. That's, that's a good, a good law there. Every citizen of Kentucky is required by law to take a bath at least once a year. Yeah, I would hope that it was more than once a year. Uh, but... Let's just say someone's like, nah, I'm not doing that. Who's going to keep track of that? And what happens if they go over a year? Does somebody hunt them down? 
take them to jail and hose them off and then release them. <laughs> if you live in Michigan, it is illegal to put a skunk in your boss's desk. There's a law that says that. How often did this happen to be able to make a law to stop it? In Hartford, Connecticut, you may not, under any circumstances, cross the street walking on your hands. Okay. In Idaho, a citizen is forbidden by law to give another citizen a box of candy that weighs more than 50 pounds. What if you want to give your neighbor a bunch of candy? What if it's a bunch of chocolate that's really, really heavy? <laughs> what is this law? I don't understand. In Indiana, it is illegal to ride public transportation for at least 30 minutes after eating garlic. You just had garlic, your breath stinks. Get off. <laughs> Get off this bus. Like, what? In Minnesota, it is illegal for women to be dressed up as Santa Claus on city streets. Now, you can do that in the country. You can do that in the suburbs. But if you go into the city, that's a no-go. What? <laughs> in Morrisville, Pennsylvania, women need a legal permit before they can wear lipstick in public. Okay. Alright. <laughs> what? Now, obviously, these are old laws that people have forgotten about, but it's like, shouldn't it be someone's job to go through the state laws and be like, this is crazy. Cross that out. You know what I mean? Like, what? In some parts of Alabama, it is illegal to carry a comb in your pocket. How are you going to know? It's a comb. Nobody's gonna know. In Oklahoma, it's against the law to hunt whales. What? There's no... <laughs> it's Oklahoma. It's in the middle of the United States. There are no oceans in all directions. Why is this a law? It is illegal for boys in ninth grade to grow a mustache and bring them Binghamton, Binghamton, New York. I mean, I kinda agree with that. <laughs> I hate the way it looks when, like, young teenage boys try to grow facial hair. It just looks weird. I don't know if it should be illegal, but I get it. In Omaha, Nebraska, it's against the law to burp or sneeze in church. Burping, I get, because it's just rude. You can control that. Sneezing? You can't control that. Like, I mean, some people can stop sneezes, but when you gotta sneeze, you gotta sneeze, you know? In Kansas, in Kansas it's, it's against the law to catch fish with your bare hands. Why? If you can catch a fish, your bare hands. Have at it. It's against the law to ride down the streets 
in Bruton, Alabama, in a motorboat. How would you do that? Anyway, if the streets are flooded, I can see that. <laughs> okay. That's so strange. And this is just a little fact, I guess, about breaking the law. It says most burglaries occur in the winter. I wonder, I wonder why. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop there because it goes into a totally different subject. Um, but anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.